Making leadership more diverse means creating more opportunities in higher education. The Leadership Brainery tries to do that with students heading for the postgraduate level. To tell us about the organization's fall event, the National Impact Summit, is its co-founder and director of development and partnerships, Jonathan Allen. Uh, thank you very much for being with us again, Jonathan. Thank you, Chris, for having me. Jonathan, good to see you again. I, I, I know we're talking mainly here about one event, but uh, you also have a year-round mission. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, um, the, the Leadership Brainery, we are on the mission of creating educational equity and generational prosperity. And, and so we do have multiple programs that we aim to do this through. And one of them is our three-year ambassador fellowship where we select um, students who are rising sophomores and they're part of our program for three years, a sophomore, junior and senior year, where we provide them leadership, professional and personal development as they pursue graduate professional school. And so the mission of our ambassador fellowship is to support and undergird diverse and first generation college student leaders who are aiming to go to graduate professional school so that we're cultivating the next generation of diverse lawyers, doctors, CEOs, and business executives, as well as um, leaders in our community who will run for public office as well. Um, all of these individuals who will enter at some point mid-level and senior level opportunities so that we can diversify and create greater equity and inclusion within leadership in our respective industries, uh, which is so key to helping us close the racial wealth gap, which we know the Boston Globe recently, a few years ago, reported that the average net worth of a white family in Boston Austin is over $200,000 compared to the average net worth of a black family family being about $8. That is so drastic. And one of the ways that we know that we can close that gap is by increasing um, the number of diverse and first generation individuals who um, get into the pipeline and access to higher wage careers and leadership roles in our respective industries. Well, when you started uh, this program, at least you were one of the co-founders, uh, you had an idea about the needs out there, but you also had an idea that the graduate schools would be receptive. Uh, why would that be the case? Well, one, because graduate schools are needing and expressing um, the desire to be more diverse and the desire to recruit and identify more diverse talent. And so there's a huge need here. I went to Boston University School of Law and in 2016 out of 250 students that came into my incoming class, um, only four of us were black men out of 250 students. Derek went to Tufts School of Med for, at, in their master's uh, public health program and was the only black man that entered into his cohort there. And so the, the need is great um, for more diversity in our graduate professional schools, especially our competitive graduate professional schools. And Boston is unique in that we are an, an education mecca hub, so to speak, and have some of the most um, um, incredible organizations right here in our own backyard, um, as well as um, those institutions that um, are competitive in nature and have plenty of resources um, that need to be expended to organizations, and not just organizations, but individuals, um, students who come from backgrounds um, where um, they're underrepresented, where they're marginalized, and have lower or lack access to these particular kinds of opportunities that can radically transform their lives, their family lives, and their community lives. And that's the mission, right? Cultivating the next generation of folk who are concerned with making change for the greater good, which means they're not just seeking um, to level up their own personal uh, wealth, um, but certainly figuring out how do we then give back to uplift those that are coming after us. With your numbers, you, you just described a, a, a very small number of students of color contending with this huge mecca around them. Um, um, do you help the students uh, make adjustments to that in some way? 
Yeah, that's a very good question um, because one of the things that we target and try to talk about often is this imposter syndrome, you know, going into, for example, predominantly white space and being one of the few people of color in that space, not always feeling as if you truly belong there, as if you truly qualify to be there um, because of the aesthetics of what you see. Um, surely someone um, in choosing this non-diverse class must have thought um, that there wasn't enough um, more diverse people out there who truly belonged um, to be in this space, which is totally false um, and, and debunked. And there has to be greater intentionality and effort um, to, and, and a will a will to do so um, to really ensure that we're diversifying because when we do, we realize that everybody gains, everybody is made better. Um, even our white colleagues who um, are often the recipients of, of great opportunity, um, but who actually are, are lacking in nature, right? Because they're lacking much of the perspective um, that they're more diverse, that their other diverse colleagues often bring to the table. And so this need for more diversity um, is certainly um, one that is interconnected, is interrelated, is interdependent. We need each other and we all have to be in this effort, particularly um, in this era of racial reckoning um, where we are working to be more anti-racist. Um, this requires that we be accomplices, um, that we be more than allies, and that we be thinking more intentional than ever about how we can rid our systems of biases and, and infrastructures that continue um, to divide us, continue to disparage, and continue to make some communities um, more inequitable um, and less fair and more marginalized and disadvantaged than others. Jonathan, I, I know it's hard for any summit to reproduce what normally happens in person. This year's event is going to be virtual. So well, tell us a little bit about what you've got planned, especially as far as an agenda, any of the speakers that are going to be coming. Yes, so our National Impact Summit is a part of our programming. Every year, our students um, come to the National Impact Summit to gain access to competitive graduate professional schools, as well as workforce employers. And last year, 2019, we brought together over 100 diverse and first generation students from the Massachusetts area and a few beyond, as well as um, nearly 20 competitive graduate professional schools, ranging from Harvard Law School school, BU Law School, Tufts School of Medicine to um, even Brandeis Business School and B BU Business School, um, um, Northeastern, their computer sciences as well as MIT, um, their business school, Sloan School of Management. Um, these organizations coming um, to say to these diverse students, hey, we're here, we want to recruit you, get to know you so we can begin building those relationships. And this year we are going virtual because of the pandemic and wanting to ensure that this is an extraordinary and dynamic online event uh, whereby students can connect online virtually with graduate and professional school recruiters as well as or, um, companies who are looking to pipeline more diverse talent into their internship programs and their entry level programs for students who are saying, hey, I want to go to graduate and professional school, um, but I want to take a year or so off in between to gain experience. Um, there is opportunity out there to connect you to where you go and work for some time and then go to graduate and professional school after. So we want to continue to be um, a, a consortium of opportunity. We want to continue to bring um, these stakeholders together, students, academic institutions, um, workforce and employers, um, so that they can begin cultivating um, relationships and then access um, to the many opportunities that are out there um, that many students um, really um, lack access to, and we want to provide that platform to do so. And so the National Impact Summit this year is happening on November the 14th, um, and it's going to be a day full of dynamic speakers and workshops on navigating the graduates and professional school environment, as well as the admissions processes, as well as navigating the professional environment as it relates to internships and the role that internships play in helping to strengthen your graduate school admissions applications as well, um, and the skill sets that you learn and gain and hone in on as you think about um, what makes you um, the best candidates um, for employment and graduate and professional school admissions. 
One thing I imagine you can do even with Zoom is you, you can collect all of these faces on a screen. You can see people from your same background and maybe feel a little more at liberty to ask questions that you're afraid might embarrass you in front of other people. Is that something you're going for with an event like this? Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely one of the um, positives of the National Impact Summit and the work that we're doing at the Leadership Brainery is the ability to be able to interact with people who look like you, who come from similar backgrounds as you, and then those individuals who are recruiting, but also who are working at these um, various employers, um, when you have the opportunity to connect with them um, around the things that matter to you, um, that absolutely empowers you um, to, one, know your own worth and value and what you bring um, to any environment that you go into. And so the National Impact Summit is an optimal opportunity for diverse um, talent young leaders um, to be able to come together with other like-minded individuals um, who you will not only meet now, but these will be people that you will continue to cultivate and build relationships with as you continue to progress in your respective careers. And so what's powerful is that five and 10 and 15 and 20 years from now, some of the same people that you're connecting and interacting with now will be your colleagues in leadership who you will be responsible um, for working with um, to create more generational and societal change um, through your respective leadership roles and capacities. Finally, uh, Jonathan, if, it, if this is a free event, we certainly need to emphasize, but uh, other than that, uh, we would like to tell people exactly if they want to participate, what should they do next? Yes, so it is free and it is an application process. So we encourage you to go quickly um, to the leadershipbrainery.org and tap on at the top. There's a banner for um, apply to the National Impact Summit. You can click on a, another tab that'll take you directly to the National Impact Summit. It's all over the page. Um, and so when you go to the website, go and learn more about the, the Impact Summit and go and apply. And again, to our employers and even graduate professional schools who are looking to recruit more diverse talent. There's still space and opportunity for you to be involved in the National Impact Summit. We're so grateful that the, the TJX companies and State Street and, and Liberty Mutual are sponsors for the National Impact Summit this year. Um, we're also last year and we look forward to welcoming others on board um, as well. We're looking to attract diverse talent um, as well as graduate schools who are, who are looking to attract diverse talent as well. So we encourage you to go to the leadershipbrainery.org and, and check out our sponsorship opportunities and recruitment opportunities for the National Impact Summit as well. Great, well, thank you very much for taking the time to join us. Thank you so much, Chris, and we look forward to everybody. Uh, spread the word, get on our social medias, and continue to spread positivity in our community. We know so many people are facing um, a lot of adversity during this pandemic, and we want to continue to uplift everyone and encourage you all uh, to keep going um, and to keep your heads up. Great. Thank you very much. Jonathan Allen from the Leadership Brainery.